from Fox 56 Sports. This is Home Team Friday Nights, sponsored by The Window Source. It has been November. The temps are starting to drop a little bit in the number of high school football teams still alive in our KHSAA playoffs. It's winding down as well. Michael Epps, Jordan Adams with you. We got a good show here. A number, I think it's seven, seven or eight mm -hmm. local teams still alive here in the state quarterfinals. And there were some fantastic games tonight. Yeah, a lot of good games. We'll be showing you some Sayre. Uh, hopefully some Frederick Douglass coming yeah. up. Uh, Lex Catholic and Lex Christian playing tonight. So all the best teams still trying to make it a Kroger Field. Yes, in the city and beyond the top game in the state, Bowell County and Corbin. We're going to get you try to get you those highlights a little bit later in the show. Having some technical difficulties here, so just work with us, guys. But we're having fun. Hopefully you have fun, too. But we're going to start with LCA, a top team in Class 2A who had a difficult assignment of going on the road to Mayfield. They're back another time zone, so this game is still in progress late in the third quarter. Uh, this was a good touchdown from B. Evans to get LCA close. Mayfield got an early lead, though, and they extend it on a touchdown catch from Max Hoover. So Mayfield up on top here as we show you this current score right now in the third quarter. Uh, they're trying to get things going, and obviously this would be a big one. Somerset, another local team, got a big-time win, 56-20. to 20, So good for them in Beachwood. We always know they are a power in Class 2A. So this will all get reseeded, mm -hmm. Jordan, obviously with the RPI. But we're just showing you some of these final scores, and we will uh, try to update you on the LCA progress. But for now, man, Cutter Bowley, he just had a pretty strong drive. Mm -hmm to drive down the field, cut it to a three-point game, and then Mayfield just went back down and scored again. So that's a good one. Yeah, we'll see what Bowley and the boys are really made of in this game, and hopefully uh, they can go a little bit further. 21-31 uh, Mayfield, we just told us. <laughs> Thank you guys back there. So Mayfield's ahead. Uh, it's going to take a lot for the Eagles to come back, especially on the road. But there's still plenty of time. I mean, we're at 10:35, but it's only in the third quarter, so they got hopes. But let's go over to 1A. Sayre, they had a big time win over Paris. Yeah, it was a rainy evening pretty much everywhere in the state. Undefeated Sayre hosting Raceland. We start late in the first, and it's already knotted up at seven. Luke Pennington winds that one up, uh, and he finds his man Brock Kaufman, who just slides on, on the grass uh, <laughs> with that muddy. Uh, weather down there. Slip and slide. Yeah, literally. Uh, then we got a touchdown. Pennington finding his man as Sayre takes the 14 7 lead. Charlie That's Charlie Slava. Slava. Good, yeah. He's a good player. On the run, and he can catch a little bit too. But the bad guys are able to score a few. It's going to be Raceland responding. That was Logan Lundy. And then just right there is Lundy again, keeping it all by himself. So now 22 to 14 right before the half. And one last time, uh-oh, Raceland racing here. A little wow. stiff arm, get off me, busting out of ankle tackles. Jackson Heighton this time for 75 yards out. Uh-oh, Raceland beats Sayre. 42 to 27. Oh, that's a heartbreak. The undefeated season for Chad Pennington and the boys comes to an end. Luke Pennington played really well this season. Brock Kaufman, obviously talented. They led the state in combined touchdowns. So the run ends. That would have been a tough one going down the pike bowl anyways. They, of course, wanted to make a statement this year and try to be up there with the big boys, right? Try to compete with these guys, and they certainly did. So Pennington's uh, building a great program here, and Luke is only a junior. Brock Kaufman's only a junior. Okay. Those guys are coming back. Like running back. Oh, they can for sure, but they got to replace some big boys up front. That's for sure. All right, coming up, we got some more games to show you. As we talked about, we got some finals. We got some videos coming on in. So roll with us here on Home Team Friday Nights. Help. We're the From Fox 56 Sports, you're watching Home Team Friday Nights. We're the Franklin County student section. You're watching Home Team Friday Night. Oh, yeah. Great energy. Good energy. You love to it see off. it. The Frankfurt boys, the only team left in that area. And they are a big-time team. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, we've talked so much about Bowl County and Corbin and Covington Catholic, the top dogs in Class 4A, Franklin County really making a stand here. So we're going to get to those highlights in just a second. We do want to show you this final score coming in. Bull County gets the win, 21-14, to 14, an unbelievable game down there in Danville. And this was a rematch of the 
State championship game last year at Kroger Field. Obviously, we would have loved to have this game again, again yeah. in the title game. But hey, Bull County wins. And and Franklin County and Covington Catholic both saying something like, no, that was not the you know championship game. The winner is winning the state. No, yeah, those, those other two teams have something to say. And Coach Eddie James and the Franklin County Flyers certainly have something to say. He let us in the locker room for our Inside Access segment. Take a look. Okay, guys, it, there have been days when it's been 10 degrees and you've had to get out of bed and come here at 6 a.m. Okay, those days are for nights like tonight. Okay, guys, there were days, okay, y'all know my dad died. There's days when I didn't want to walk through that door. Okay, but I would come in here and Jeremy Walters, who had a district baseball game that night, would be lifting. Okay, or Luke would give me that stupid smile or something. <laughs> and, and that's what it's about, guys. We pour into each other so when we get these moments to show who we are, we dominate. That's it, Coach. We've worked so hard to get to this moment. Ain't nobody taking it from us. Okay? You're going to go handle your business tonight, and we're just marching forward. It's just the next step in what we're doing. You get after them from the jump, guys, and you don't let up. Let's do it. Okay, let's pray. As a team, we pray. Man, my favorite inside access of the year for sure. Coach James showing the emotion there. Yeah. But hey, there's no crying in football, right? You got to go out there, play the game, start in the game, the opening kickoff. Oh, the fumble. He muffs it. Delano Collins comes up with the recovery for the Flyers. Hey, that's a good way to start the ball game, right? You yeah. get great field position. You hand it off to Christian Moore, the big fella, pounds it in there <laughs> easily with all. Oh, I don't even know how much weight. He's got to be at least 230. Pounds it in there for the 7 nothing lead. Barkstown did respond, give him credit, but following drive, Dury Trahan finds Jacob Taylor. What a catch. Slide, and we saw a little slip and slide catch earlier. Yeah. Jordan, that was another good one right there to go up 14-7, and then later in the first, Jaquan Crawford beats it. Gone to the house. Beats everybody. Impressive speed from the sophomore. Impressive win. Narrow win by Franklin County. 37 to 29. Big time stuff. We showed you the Boyle County Corbin score. They win. Covington Catholic as expected wins over a good Johnson Central team. And then Patuka Tillman, as expected, rolls over Spencer County. So this is going to re recede, Jordan, mm -hmm. and we are going to get Boyle County at Franklin County oh, next week. Oh, I was week. hoping it was switched. <laughs> oh, it's going to be an unbelievable game. Uh, we'll wait and see how it officially lines up. But oh, as we're seeing with RPI, that's good. That's what it's going to be. And in Cuffcath, they're a tough one for sure. So Franklin, boy, man, that's going to be a lot of fun next week. All right, coming up, we got some more action for you. We got to get to Class 6A, Douglas and Mail. And there was an upset here that you're going to want to check out. Up next, stay with us. <laughs> From Fox 56 Sports, you're watching Home Team Friday Night. We're the Rebel Rowdies, and you're watching Home Team Friday Night. Yeah! <laughs> Good energy. Yeah. That's great energy. They are great. They were also on uh, Home Team Friday Night Kickoffs mm -hmm. this morning. So Peyton Henkel and the boys yeah. went down there, talked to them. They always have fun, but they, you know, they also have a tradition. The team always gets a pregame meal, really? right? Okay. So uh, in the morning, yeah. breakfast. So they weren't on Home Team Kickoff, but the fans and the students had a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, another team that has been having a lot of fun the last two years is Frederick Douglass. Of, co of course, they won mm -hmm. the state championship in Class 5A. Ty Bryant was on that team, who was now with Kentucky, and we caught up with him this week to give him, uh, ask him a little preview of if he's going to be tuning in from his hotel in Columbia ahead of, of course, their game against South Carolina tomorrow. Take a listen. Play hard. Play hard. If they take care of business, then they're going to win. But they just got to play hard and execute. You heard the man. That's it. Yeah. That's all you need. Go and execute, right? So that's what you got to do. The 11 and 1 male Bulldogs hosting Frederick Douglass from Lexington. A good game down here in across town. Male marching down the field on their opening drive. It'd be capped off with a rushing touchdown courtesy of Shamai Gates. The Broncos down 7 0. Try to get the ball back. Intercepted by junior Antonio Harris. The dogs would fail to turn it into any points, though. Good stand by the Broncos defense. Then quarterback Jackson Stratman. Good ball down to Darian Talbert. Long ball to get the Broncos inside the five. Stratman would even things up on this quarterback keeper. On to the fourth quarter. Mail finds themselves down 21-14. They go to the guy that's been making plays for them all year. Senior Max Ganey answers the call. 
big time touchdown to make it 21 20 after tying it with the extra point and offsides penalty coach Chris Wolf elects to take the tie off the board and go for two would not get it unbelievable stand by the Broncos defense and they pull off a magical upset over in Louisville 20 of the year? oh my god that's huge I mean it still does it's still reigning champs but I mean people did not expect them to go out there and win that ball game pretty impressive stuff from coach McPeak and then we got another big time school here in Lexington Bryan Station defeat Ralph 49 to 12 a few highlights from you from to read for you. Uh, Jalen Berry had a pick six in this one. Nice. Another guy who got an interception, our student athlete of the week, JT Haskins, uh, uh, with a nice interception as well. Coach Phillips, uh, Hawkins, and the defenders only allowed 10 points in the playoffs heading into tonight's game. You know, led in 12 on this one, but that's all right when your offense scores so many points. The defenders, Brian Station, the green and yellow, get the win against Ralph. And they're moving on. Hey, that's big time. You went out to practice this week. You knew that they had a lot of confidence. It's a good win for Coach Hawkins and the boys. So we look at this, and it's going to look interesting. Trinity, of course, rolls. And uh, that's final just coming in for Ballard. Appreciate you guys back there for putting that in. Ballard, big time win, 28-3. to three. So they're going to re redistrict this, recede this. I'm not sure if Douglas and Station are going to face. I, I they'll, they'll see on the RPI. That would be an unbelievable Lexington matchup. Douglas won the regular season matchup. Up. They normally always do, but Station, they, they got closer this year. Mm -hmm. So that could be a fantastic game. All right, Class 5A to uh, North Laurel. Our only local team left. They lost 30-7 to to Highlands. Of course, Scott County lost and Woodford County lost. So that is about it for our 5A teams. All right, let is, let's switch gears over to Class 3A. We'll wrap it up with Lexington Catholic. You went down to Rockcastle County. A little bit of a hike because yeah. they had that rough start to the season. And, of course, their RPI lower because of those losses. But they're a good ball club, and they're peaking at the right time. Yeah, I don't want to ruin it, but it didn't matter tonight, folks. Yeah. Hey, we're going to start here with Lexington Catholic. Uh, wrong CG here, but Catholic uh, down the road. And we're going to start with Jackson Wasick. He's going to find his man Matthew Kern. Breaks one tackle, and it's taillights to the end zone, folks. Easy slant route for number 18. Seven nothing, just like that. Next drive is going to be Wasick again, but he's going to be looking deep. Pump fake. He's going to step up into the pocket like a pro and just unload this missile down to Jackson wow. Kritzer. And he goes all out for that one. Diving catch, a little more slip and slide there for you, Mike. Uh, unfortunately, they weren't able to score. But when you got special team plays like this, oh, yeah. it doesn't even matter. A touchdown, Aiden Fluger with the block. And it's Jack White with the hands to secure the touchdown. Knights with the big time win on the road. They win 43 to 7. How about that? Hey, what do they say? There's levels to this, right? There are three levels of football offense, defense, and special teams. They got a punt return touchdown, I believe, last week as well back at home. So that is big time stuff for the boys. Coach Nick Bosch and his crew mm -hmm. really bouncing back from a tough start. All right, coming up, we have our plays of the week. We have a few good ones that you're going to want to check out. You're going to vote for them on our website. So stay tuned to see all three solid plays up next on Home Team Friday Nights. From Fox 56 Sports, you're watching Home Team Friday Nights. Welcome back, everybody. Michael Epps, Jordan Adams here with you. Uh, thank you for sticking with us through a crazy show. We had a lot of fun, though. A lot mm -hmm. of fun tonight in the state quarterfinals and some great plays to show you for our Plays of the Week segment. Let's check it out. We will start with play number one, Franklin County. Jury Trahan finds Jacob Taylor, deep bomb, got it, and he's sliding down in the back of the end zone, but gets his feet and hangs on. Good play right there, and they had just got a touchdown call back to play before, so big-time stuff in the Flyers. All right, that was pretty good, but what about this one? Our second nominee of the night, and it's Luke Pennington winding up and launching it deep to Brock Kaufman, who does a little bit of slip inside himself. Didn't score on that one, but set him up pretty well. And now this third one. We saw it a little bit earlier. It was my game, so I'm a little biased. Special teams for the win, folks. The block, the catch, touchdown. Let's cat rolls. Go to our website to vote on those real quick. LCA down 44 to 36 in a barn burner at Mayfield. Unbelievable. All right, I'm Michael East Jordan. Thank you guys. Have a great night.